Hey y'all, so Yiso decided to send me a freaking beautiful bike. Yeah, Yiso, they decided to send me a bike. Y'all know I'm on my fitness journey, so here I am unboxing my beautiful bike. Y'all, this thing is way better than this. It's it's up there with Peloton. Well, even way better because this price is more decent. So you guys know I'm on my gym journey. And sometimes when I don't make it to the gym, I can always just make it downstairs and get on my bike. Y'all, and the screen is big. The screen is big enough to show your freaking movie screens off your phone. And there's no need to buy any extra cords because it comes with it. So if you guys connect your cord into the actual bike, you can see any movie, any TikTok screen, anything from your phone onto your bike but seriously if you guys are thinking about getting a bike getting any type of equipment y'all go hit up Yiso. go check my description use my 10 percent off and get you a freaking bike when i say it works your whole full entire body out y'all know i would know so if you're trying to get on your weight loss journey or just trying to get a healthier freaking lifestyle start here start with Yiso, and let's get into my video and thank you so much for Yiso for sponsoring today's video oh I look busted. I look really busted, I'm not gonna lie. But good morning, y'all. Ah, lied, I lied. Hey sisters, welcome to my channel. I am trying to get my life back together. Like seriously, trying to get my life back together. Back into the swing of things because I just came back home from Tulum. Um, Y'all probably are not getting a long vlog. I might get like a little two second clip. But that was my trip to Tulum. Girl, hectic, another story time for another day. But um, it is May 11th, and I'm just not getting back in town like May 8th, May, May something. So I kind of want to do like a little monthly reset and more of like a mental reset, just like get back to like life. Like I done paid my bills. It's the first of the month still. Like life is still coming. So like I don't feel like it's too late to get my life together. So today I'm getting back in the gym. I'm going to sh show you guys my gym sets or Marshalls. I'm not going to lie. I don't know which one. But when I get tops like this and look kind of leisure athletic, it's most likely from like Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And then my pants are always underactive because I love the softness. And girl, they're just so cute on my body. Like, what? I might do an underactive haul just because I'm just really obsessed with that brand. And I know Chrissy is going to send me some PR one day. So, like, we're just keep manifesting. We're going to keep putting our brand out there because you know what? The things that we like, we're going to keep speaking them outside. I'm okay. So, yeah. Um, this bag is also from Ross. I know that for sure. A lot. I keep saying Ross. Ross don't be having shit. This is from TJ Maxx. And it's like a little athleisure bag. Um, it's like neutral color. And I'm about to put on my New Balances. And we're going to be out the door. Um, I was thinking about doing my edges. But I feel like they're going to get sweated out. So what's the point? You know? But I don't know. We just might. I don't know. But I just woke up from a nap. And I had me a client earlier this today and i just feel like i just need to get the life back together so today we're going to the gym and also today is also saturday so kind of like a sunday reset as well because i need to wash my clothes for my trip i just need a whole reset um yeah girl we just we just need to we just need to start over so let's go to the gym best best edge control on planet earth like go get that and yes y'all i decided to do my baby hairs not too much not too much i know they're gonna get sweat out Y'all have so much going on in my head right now, but like, I'm not gonna give some of these girls any attention. So I'm gonna leave it, to, I'm gonna leave it alone. You know how your mind just be racing like, girl, you had me really up, but you know what? I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go, but it's still on my mind though. It's, you, you still, that's still on my mind though. But I'm gonna let it go. Ooh. I hope they get under my skin. They be getting under my skin sometimes, but it's a part of not letting them know that. Like, y'all not gonna know that. A couple bitches think it's about them, and it's not about not one of y'all. Bye. Bye.
so it seems as if I left you guys in the car. That's why. That's why we went crazy just now. Y'all were missing. What am I supposed to do without y'all? Like seriously. Every time I look at my arms, I'd be like, oh my god, they're so big. Ah! So we're actually folding my, what? I'm about to do some laundry um, and I'm not making this aesthetically pleasing. Like we're making it very realistic. I'm just finished washing some white clothes. Now I'm about to put my color clothes in. I tried to wash this little rug and baby, it's looking like just trash it. What do y'all think? Should I dry it? Should we just trash it? Looks very white now. Okay, we're just gonna dry it. We're gonna dry it. Okay. Those are my white clothes. I'm gonna throw these clothes right here. I'm finna get you, man. Calm down. We're going on Tide Pods this wash. I think we'll put in like two. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go in my car and see if I can vacuum. I don't even know where, I just, we gonna see something, let's go. I'm not letting him out, so if y'all wanna go get him, y'all go get him, I'm not getting him. Oh, I'm gonna backwards. Sit right, seriously, be good. I want to see if this works. Oh, you're broken. Or did I just break it? This is so random, but we're gonna go to Publix real quick because I really want to get some oat milk. And I was supposed to do it earlier, but I didn't end up doing it. So we're gonna do it now because Publix goes at 10 o'clock. And um, I don't want to tell y'all the real fat girl reason of why I want some oat milk, but like we're gonna go get some oat milk and respect that. Okay, stop asking me so many goddamn questions. But I let the dog out for a little minute, so while I'm getting dressed and ready to go, um, he done peed, he done did what he had to do. I'm gonna let him back in the house. I am the only one in the house, so I'm basically living alone today. Only one in this damn big ass house by myself with this crazy dog. And. Yeah, so I really had no one to send out to get some oat milk. But I'm going to go um, finish what I was doing. What was I just doing? Putting the jacket on. I was looking for something else. I was looking for something else. You, you let the dog out? Yeah. Can you feed him? Um, put some more dog food in there. This is feeding time? Y'all not going to be... Huh? This is feed time? Yeah, it's past the feeding time, but we ain't there yet because it's still doing my hair. Okay, I'm going to feed him now. And put some water in there. Just watch him. I'm going to lock him in there. Why are I watching? Oh, okay. All right. Put some water. And put this um, soft food in there, half of it. I think I put one in that container. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then you can put some more water. Like I said, I'm the only one with this crazy dog, so I have to go feed him. I walked him. His bedtime is nine o'clock, it is 8.52, but he with auntie, he with me. He with me, y'all, so like, auntie let him have his little time outside. I gotta watch him though, because he likes to go to the front yard and people are afraid of pit bulls, so I can't even let him out for too long. So I got my keys downstairs, my phone's in my pocket, I just need a wallet, that's why I came up here. A freaking wallet. Right here. Right here. Yeah, I'm just bringing the whole thing, actually my phone in here as well i really want some oat milk so y'all don't get don't get weird don't get weird let me go feed him well y'all can come with me to do that right not too much pressure right they have to wash dishes like i hate me by myself like 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 i own a home i'm a homeowner i'm a homeowner 
My house is getting remodeled, y'all. No shade. No shade, no shade. Let me go look at the dog. Let me go look at my child. Daycare. Y'all can't see our nephew. I'm sorry. Let me. Come on. Sit. Good boy, man. Hi, man. Okay. Let me go get his make his food. Where's your food? I don't know what else you be eating. She said water. Okay, let's do that. I know water. I know how to do that. Look at him. He's doing it himself. Like, can you not do that? Ew, are you farting? You freaking stink. I smelt it. Who's texting me? I'm just trying to get a thumbnail picture. Hey, man. All right, all right. I'm going to feed you. Let's go. Let's go. Be careful. I literally just scraped my rims. I'm just like, uh, well, we're not gonna say I scraped it. We're gonna hope it just, it didn't do nothing to my rims, but I literally drove trying not to hit somebody and I literally was on the sidewalk and I literally bumped into the curb. So yeah, we're gonna just hope nothing happened though. But I'm so annoyed that I did that because I don't do things like that. Like I feel like that's such a girly, stupid, dingy, like, 15 year old girl driving error. I hate unnecessary errors. Like, don't be dumb, you know? So, yeah, I'm a little annoyed I just did that. I had to get on the camera and just talk about that stupid error. Error! But, um, y'all are kind of really manifesting me a track hawk. Like, I have a Jeep that looks just like a track hawk, but I just feel like I just need the track hawk. Like, I just want to be the first girl. I'm not the first girl. I'm not going to be the first girl in Atlanta with a track hawk. But I want to be one of those girls in Atlanta with a track hawk. Like I want the, I want that track hawk. Like I want my, you know, you cannot little girl me. I'll big motherfucking track, okay? So that's my dream car right now. Not really a dream car, but that's my next car. Okay, maybe not my next car, but it's a car that I want to own once in my life. A track hawk. Like what? Track, oh, dang, you want to bring, put that shit in part. Oh, say he want to eat it, put that shit in part. Mm -hmm. Like, what's sexy red out here getting last minute stuff for mommy like y'all dead ass wrong i'll get stuff for mom like tomorrow you know it'll be cheaper she'll she'll understand she'll definitely fucking understand i have too much stuff in my hand just go back to the house Literally just went back to the house. So I literally just got back to the house. Um, we just finished washing some dishes. Um, I'm about to check. I don't want to check on him. 
He's literally going to rip my pants off because he's going to scratch the hell out of my pants. And his nails, they say his nails don't need to be cut or clipped, but girl, thin nails is dangerous. Um, I'm actually good night. Mm. <laughs> checking on him. We're gonna check on him after I check on my laundry, actually. I'm gonna check on him. Just gonna make sure he eat all his food. And yeah. Okay, so my dry, my clothes just finished drying. So I'm bring these white clothes upstairs. Look. On my road, it doesn't look that bad. Okay, I'm glad I went. I decided to dry it because it looks more fluffier. I got a little spot right there. I don't know, that's lace glue. I'm just gonna cut it out of the rug. I don't think I got this rug from Timu. Like, when Timu decided to first like sponsor one of my videos, they gave me this. I have so much cleaning I didn't finish, but there's always tomorrow. Literally. There's nothing but socks in this mode, so there's nothing really to really fold. Where did I put that brown yet? Okay, so the real reason why I wanted to go get oat milk is because I wanted to eat my brownie with the milk. Don't hate me. That was some fat girl shit, I know. I literally got milk for my brownie. <laughs> yes, yes I did, yes I did. On my cycle, she get whatever she wants. Believe that, believe that. Yes, I'm a kid, okay? This is literally a spur of the moment talk in my head. I have no pants on. Wow, okay. I'm trying to figure out do I wanna look cute or do I wanna look comfortable? Hold on, but y'all, it's Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out here. I look tired because that's just how I always look. But I was just screaming uh, like on the top of my lungs, telling God, don't make me a mother until I'm married. Y'all, I just see two people post that they're freaking pregnant. And I've never, I've never seen a ring. And you're younger than me. You're freaking 20. Why would you do this? Why would you do this? I'm drooling, I'm just so sad right now. I'm just so fucking sad. And there's no shade. I just feel like I want better for y'all. Like I want the ring. Like what? Lord, please make me different. As long as they God keep me different, this is what I mean, keep me different. But if I end up, you know, having a kid before I'm married, y'all shut the hell up. You know, I just said I would like to, you know. And y'all, I just been eating so bad. So my face has been puffing up so bad. So I'm on a water detox today. Like my brother made me some breakfast. Um, it's Mother's Day. Shout out to me. I made my mom a mother. So it's my day as well. I'm about to put some clothes on and stop talking so much. But yeah. Trying to figure out what I want to wear. I wear jeans. Keep it different. Keeping me different. As soon as I be feeling slim, I eat bad for a whole week. Like, who child? I had this shirt on last night, but it's not. It's not dirty. You know, it's not dirty. All right, let's get ready. What am I going to do to my hair? I'm not going to lie. I'm really on the urge to wanting to cut these curls out my hair because they're literally nappy. They're nappy as hell. But hopefully me and my boyfriend do something for his birthday so I have a reason to take these braids out because if I don't do nothing for his birthday, 
if we don't do nothing for his birthday and I keep these braids in, I'm gonna be highly upset. Like, highly upset. I kind of want to take my boyfriend to Miami just because we just um, went to California. My face is so puffy right now. We just went to California for my birthday. Uh, he said he's not ready to go out the country yet, which I can understand. I'm not gonna rush nobody to go out the country because this takes a lot of anxiety. Like, no one talks about the anxiety you will have going out the country, not knowing nothing and having to figure things out. Like my first vacation, I was literally petrified. Like I flew by myself to Jamaica, so I can't rush nobody's process. Y'all like that view or what? I don't know. I thought that was this, this is kind of random. But I'm not gonna rush his process. Like, if he's not ready to go to the country, I ain't gonna keep forcing him. But um, I do want to take him to Miami because I want to go to Miami. I like Miami. Miami's a vibe. So I kind of want to go to Miami. But by Tuesday, I'm gonna see what we gonna do for real. Um, see what the prices look like for a rental car. The flights look decent, but Tuesdays the flight's supposed to be cheaper. On like four or five o'clock in the morning, if my our flights can get very cheap. We can get a nicer car. That's how I'm moving. And then plus, I know people that work at um hotels, so hopefully we can get a nice discount on a hotel. So I'm making sure the the price the prices make sense. So yeah. These curls on the top, I really want to cut them. I'm trying to figure out if I'm wearing a bra. I'm not wearing a bra. Should I do something to my face? Mm hmm. I should brush my teeth for starters. For fucking starters. But, um. Yeah, let me brush my teeth, wash my face, and then come back. Because putting on lip gloss is crazy right now. I'm trying to debate whether I want to put on some makeup. <coughs> This y'all nephew is just always gotta be in the mix, literally. Oh, always. So I did my edges already. I just need some lip gloss. He wants me to chase him, so I'm just gonna ignore him. I thought I brought him some sunscreen. I'm gonna put on some of this little sunscreen, even though this is not the right one. Is it in here? No, it's not in there. I don't know where that sunscreen is at. I'm just gonna put on this moisturizer. This is from Aloe. I've never put this on before, so we're gonna try something new just because I can't find my other moisturizers right now. I gotta find more SPF moisturizers because I cannot find mine. I think all of mine's have gone missing. I have this little bit of moisturizer on. Probably not, y'all can't really see me. This is my little bit of moisturizer I got on. I was gonna put some more stuff to my face, but I don't feel like it. Oh, I just have that in his mouth. That's y'all nephew. This is literally y'all nephew. Like, I don't know what to say. Y'all need to go watch him. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, let's go before my mom just be like, girl, let's go. What? We already done gave you eggs. I done gave you a pancake. What else? What else? You're ungrateful. 
You're ungrateful. Ah, ah. Be careful. I don't even care that he just hit his own self in the face. Get down. I don't want to sit down no more. Y'all, I'm getting back to eating healthier, so we're looking at some strawberries. <laughs> and these shits look ugly. I should get the dollar seventy seven ones, because honestly, I don't really eat all my strawberries. But it's only two forty eight. Let me get one of these. my butter she went in my section it's just stole my butter I ain't never lied it's a Tony. Hmm. I'm not even gonna show y'all what she just picked up <laughs> I gave my boy the 99 cent egg <laughs> Get your son some juice. He said he need juice. Yeah, he got good juice too. He got good juice. He got the reach on son. He got one of those things with no preservatives, strawberry, and he got a um, half and half. Um, good juice. Your son said he get money. We're heading into Sephora. No, Home Goods. I'm kind of exhausted. Not gonna lie. Um, nothing, nothing in home goods. Oh my god, y'all! I met a supporter. Her name is Jada. I, I should have brought my camera out, mm -hmm. but I be thinking like it's so. Uh, but Jada, girl, if you watch my videos, girl, <laughs> just know I want to cry. And there she had a cute little baby. You know what I mean? It's Mother's Day, like that's so convenient. I'm just literally looking at me talking to myself, girl. I can talk to myself. Well, Jada, oh, look at, look at him. So y'all, I've been back home, hold on. I've been back home. I kind of want to show you guys what I got from um, Norsham Rack. They're kind of cute, hold on. Oh, where I put the shoes at? What the hell, I'm moving? I was about to say, I have a bag and box. Where the shoes at? But they're right here. These are so cute, like, these are so stinking cute. I don't know about y'all, but like, I like the grown woman aesthetic, like soft girl, um, nude, neutral vibe. I know I got a brat shirt, I think very much. But I like this color, like this shit was so freaking cute to me. Like these are cute. They give me like Hermes dupes, but like this is my second pair of like really Hermes dupes. But these actually really look really cute on, especially with the wide leg jeans I had on today. I don't know, I just really love them. Um, but they're from the brand Steven. My other ones I have are from Steve Madden. But I really like nice, good quality, like slipping, like slide, slide on shoes. They look really cute on my feet. My feet look a little wide with them on, but I probably only would wear these with like wide legged pants. So you really don't see the rest of my feet because, ooh child, being a 10, a size 10 and women is really, it's hard. It's hard being a size 10 and women. But yeah, I got those and okay, so we was, I forgot, I really kind of forgot what this video was really supposed to be talked about, but we're supposed to be getting my life together in May. I'm also 
just now getting myself out the bed just because I've just been sitting in the bed and just on TikTok. Like, that's really why I hate TikTok. But I'm about to fold my clothes, put my clothes up, watch some YouTubers. My favorite content creators do post on Sunday. So this is my time where I like fold my clothes, watch my favorite videos. I'm also going to do my calendar as well. And I really don't know. What are those? I really don't know what. It'd be so many thoughts coming in my head at one time that I just kind of get sidetracked, really. But um, I'm going to fold my clothes. I'm going to put my clothes up. I'm going to tighten up my room. I'm also going to make my calendar. And then I'm going to cook dinner. I'm not making nothing crazy. If you know me, you know I don't really care for like a whole bunch of big meals and all of that. I'm really like a simple girl. I'm going to make me some tuna. Like a boiled egg. If y'all think that's nasty. Sorry. Um... I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna cut some of these curls out of my hair just because I hate the curls that like are literally sitting right here every time I put a ponytail in. I kinda wanna cut them out now. Like I feel like every time I do a ponytail, these curls are just so big and annoying. Like, you know, there are like too many of them or something. Like I really hate it. I don't know. I think I will cut all the curls out of my hair. I don't know yet. It's just like the curls are not at the bottom. They're just at the top. And then when I put my hair in a ponytail, it just looks all matted up at the top. And I love my hair in a ponytail. But I hope y'all enjoying y'all Mother's Day if you're a mother. I meant to say that earlier. I went to Home Goods and I met with my supporter. Her name is Jada. And she's a mother of two. And I'm just like, she came with me. She's like, I watch your videos. Oh, good girl. I really appreciate I really, I really, I don't think y'all understand. Like, I really appreciate y'all a lot. Like, I don't be thinking I have supporters until I really meet y'all in person. And y'all tell me that. I'll be like, girl, I appreciate you. Like, I told her I appreciate her. Like, girl, I don't think y'all understand how much. I am appreciative of y'all supporting me, y'all letting me know y'all support me in public, and also just always sticking with me. Like, I don't even think I have the support that I have until I really, like, see y'all in the flesh and blood. Like, oh my God, did she really mess with me in real life? Like, she really, you know what I'm saying? So I gave her a hug and everything. I don't really love y'all down. I really love y'all down. I don't think I understand, but. I did also create me an ebook as well. Uh, I got a lot of support on that. If you have not seen it, or I'll put it in my first link in my bio, in my description. I am selling like a 10, I'm selling 10 of my favorite wig influencer brands that always support me and also send them funds. And um, they really require like three minute mention videos or a one full dedicated video or either a TikTok. So if you're really interested in becoming a wig influencer, and really just making that back end off wigs, go ahead and shop that 10 influence, 10, how I named that thing? I think put 10 email list, my 10, 10 wig influencer email list. I forgot how I worded it. It's 10 of my favorite wig companies email list. I don't know, my mind is literally going crazy because I have so many ideas and thoughts in my head right now, but uh, I got a lot of support on that, and you guys just have to email them companies. I'm also going to make another script that's going to be for free. Um, so you can have like a little email quote that you could say. Like you just copy and paste and send it to all the companies and see if they're willing to work with you. Also, of course, for your first time, please work with no compensation. Just don't ask for nothing. Just ask for a free wig first and then, you know, build your, build your relationship from there. Um, but if you're all interested in buying the email list of my favorite wig companies, check the first link in the description. Um, let's just get it together. Like, let's just get it together.